Hi, this is Daniel from Tablet.de and this is the brand new Huawei Ascent Y330 smartphone which was presented here at CBIT 2014 in Hanover. And let's have a quick look at this very interesting smartphone which will retail for 99 um, euros which probably will be also 99 dollars. So we've got a 4 inch beautiful display uh, with nice viewing angles. It's actually quite sharp um, and is readable from every angle besides uh, from the bottom, which is okay. Um, it definitely looks nice. Um, also, uh, it's very fast um, when, you know, just reacting to touches. Uh, we've got some menus here, but first let's take a quick tour around the device. Um, we've got some Android buttons on the bottom, um, a volume rocker, nothing on the bottom, a um, micro USB port on the right side and on the top we've got a three and a half millimeter headphone jack and of course the on and off switch. Uh, on the back side a three megapixel camera uh, with no LED flash and it's also fixed focus. I'll show it to you in a second and we can remove this cover. Uh, this is the Chinese version so we have two SIM slots. This is a dual SIM smartphone. Um, in Europe it will come with just one SIM card which will probably be the micro SIM card and of course you can expand the memory. We've got four gigabytes of uh, memory built inside, but you can expand it with micro SD cards uh, with up to 32 gigabytes of uh, even more storage. We've got a 1500 milliamp battery, which should last one to at least two days um, with uh, average use. Just a little bit of Twitter, you know, um, Facebook, WhatsApp, nothing too much browsing for an hour maybe, and it should definitely last for about two days. So um, let's have a quick look at the camera. Um, which is a 3 megapixel shooter. Um, we've got a fixed focus, which means you cannot um, take um, close-up shots because they will just be out of focus. But I'll just take another shot um, of this booth here and you'll see it's actually quite okay. Um, it looks better than the Nokia X smartphone uh, cameras. Um, videos are can be made with up to VGA resolution 640 by 480 which is not um, HD at all but it should be enough for, for most of us. Uh, also we've got a dual core 1.3 gigahertz processor inside. Um, it's actually quite snappy you won't play high-end games but uh, for Fla Flappy Bird or you know Angry Birds it definitely should be okay. Um, also 512 megabytes of RAM which you see is more than enough for this device so app switches are definitely fast and smooth and um, apps open nearly instantly there's just open up the clock and it's definitely fast also the um, built-in android version is 4.2.2 uh, uh, this means it's not the, the newest one but it's uh, probably enough uh, for, for most users and uh, you can of course install apps via the google play store so um, apps and games are definitely no problem like Facebook, WhatsApp, you know, um, Snapchat. Um, yeah, so this is a first quick look. A very nice phone for um, not very much money. Uh, 99 euros is definitely a bargain for such a phone. It definitely feels nice in your hand. You can, um, you know, go through the menu just with your thumb because of this uh, quite compact um, form factor of just four inches. Nice display, good battery life, um, and a very nice price. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm Daniel from Tablet.de. Thanks for watching.